So the next COVID bill looks like it's going to be just as bad as the previous ones. Speaker Pelosi supports push for taxpayer bailout of corporate lobbyists. This is um, this is unbelievable. This is like next level corruption. So Lee Fong of The Intercept says, K Street may soon have its own taxpayer funded bailout. Industries as varied as oil refining, construction, fast food restaurants, and chemical manufacturing are seeking federal cash to support their lobbyists in Washington, D.C. Many of the largest lobbying forces are organized under the 501c6 section of the tax code as trade groups. Corporations with similar concerns pool their money together to fund trade groups, which in turn employ thousands of lobbyists to shape elections and legislation on a daily basis. But the Paycheck Protection Program, the centerpiece of the Small Business Rescue Program, excluded such trade groups. That could change in the next round of stimulus legislation, which Congress is scheduled to debate later this month. Lobbyists have stepped up a campaign to make sure professional influence peddlers are eligible for PPP or P3 funds. The push also includes a demand for an additional $25 billion for canceled events and other lost revenue from the coronavirus pandemic. Senior Democratic lawmakers, including House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, plan to accommodate the demand and change the eligibility standard so that small business bailout money can flow to business advocacy groups. Now, if that doesn't sufficiently piss you off, I don't know what's wrong with you, but let's say for a second that doesn't sufficiently piss you off. Here's a quote from one of these groups that are vying for bailout money. Okay, this is from a branch of the Chamber of Commerce. And here's what a lobbyist for a branch of the Chamber of Commerce said. Quote, During this difficult time, business trade associations, that's lobbyists, are performing an essential role for our state's businesses. We transmit information, we answer questions, and we ensure that our members have the tools they need to comply with the deluge of laws, orders, and regulatory changes that are being introduced. So that's this person saying, us lobbyists, we're like, you know, we're like essential workers, and the work we do is so important that obviously we deserve bailout money. So Nancy Pelosi, the Democrats, and the Republicans want to fund the exact people who are corrupting our political system and screwing us over. Make no mistake about it. The, the main reason why regular people, working people, have gotten crushed during this pandemic and have not gotten adequate support from the government is because our government doesn't represent us. Our government is bought and owned by the corporations and the lobbyists. And now, all of Washington, D.C. is like, I got it. Let's bail out the same people who screwed over regular Americans, screwed over working Americans every single step of the way. Their very existence diverts our job and our attention from working for regular people to working for the corporations and being total sellouts. And Nancy Pelosi wants to give them a bailout. All of Washington, D.C. wants to give them the bailout. In fact, I bet, I bet the numbers are going to be overwhelming for a bill that does bail out lobbyists. I, I can guarantee it. So this is where we're at. This is how corrupt the system is. And by the way, where the hell is the media on this? Have you heard anything on CNN or MSNBC or Fox News or any of them? No, of course not. Because they're part of the establishment. They're corrupt. They're in on the game. They're not giving you the real information. They're not giving you the straight dope. They're not giving you the facts. They're not explaining to you exactly why it is that we don't have a UBI and we don't have a rent freeze and we don't have a mortgage freeze. And you have leaders in D.C. telling states when they're asking for COVID funds, they go, but just go bankrupt. Hold on now. Hold on. We passed $5 trillion in bailout money and you're telling states to go bankrupt? So that they cut their pensions and screw working Americans? Do you understand how insane that is? Where'd the five trillion dollars go? As Justin Jackson says, five trillion dollars in in bailout money, and you still have to pay your rent on no income. So hold on, what was that money for then? Where'd it go? Where'd all that money go? 
I thought that the idea was, hey, we got to bail everybody out because the economy grinded to a halt. So obviously we got to help people. We got to fix the system here. We got to put a band-aid over this gaping wound. But no, the $5 trillion, it goes to corporate America. It goes to the big businesses. It goes to the shareholders. It goes to the owner class. That's who it goes to. And then now the conversation, before we get a rent freeze, a mortgage freeze, a UBI bill, hazard pay, before we get any of the things we desperately need, before we get universal health care, we're going to bail out lobbyists with tax money. So everybody's still paying their taxes on no income, no job, everybody's still paying their taxes, and they're going to rob you to give it to the people who are corrupting our entire political system. There are no words for how disastrous this is and how evil this is. This is imperial decline. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. They, they're so brazen guys, they are so disconnected from regular people. I mean, the fact that Nancy Pelosi did that segment on whatever it was, one of the night sh late shows, James Corden or whoever, you know, laughing in front of her $12,000 fridge and freezer and she's got two of them. Ha ha ha, yeah! I love eating ice cream, yeah! Look at my ice cream! It's like designer ice cream, the most expensive kind you could get. The fact that in the middle of this crisis, you don't have the wherewithal to go, whoa, 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 everybody's struggling out there. I'm not going to do a... a a giddy laugh along segment where I'm showing everybody my ice cream and tee hee hee, look at this. It's so out of touch. How did you not know how out of touch that is? How do you not know how out of touch this is? How this comes across? Guys, some of the first things you should have done in this crisis with the lockdown universal basic income for the duration of the crisis, at least, rent freeze and mortgage freeze and hazard pay. They didn't do them yet. We're on our fifth freaking bailout bill. They didn't do them, but they're talking about bailing out lobbyists? Tax money to lobbyists. You're out of your damn mind. This is how corrupt they are. This is how corrupt they are. And then we'll get to a story later. Joe Biden, run for president, is doing ha ha he 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 a video with, uh, what's his name? Keegan Michael Key. And like, oh, Joe's eating ice cream and they're playing cards. <laughs> Do you have any threes? Oh, yeah, I have some threes, Joe. Oh. They're joking around, having a good time. Dog, the unemployment rate is now 24.9%. That's Great Depression territory. And you're trying to go viral with cutesy little videos on Twitter? What is wrong with you? Why is everybody acting? Why are they acting like we're not in a crisis, like this is just business as usual and politics as usual, and like we're not in an earth-shattering, world-changing event right now. I'll tell you why they're acting like that, because they're disconnected from the real pain out there. They're disconnected from the real people. To them, it's all intellectualized. They see the numbers on the screen, but they don't feel it. They think, wow, that's a high number. Anyway, let me get back to showing everybody my, you know, my designer ice cream in my fridge. They are so immensely out of touch. I've never seen anything like this before. And the urgency of this crisis, and this is how they're responding. We're going to bail out lobbyists. All I have to say is, in Washington, D.C., they are legitimately lucky. They're lucky that we have so many amazing distractions. Or else, people would be out in the street with pitchforks and torches. Because, you know, honestly, it really is just the distractions, I think, that prevent that from happening. It's just the fact that, you know, you got a thousand channels on TV, and you got Netflix, and you got the internet, and you got podcasts, and you got this modern system has so many amazing distractions where it can help people kind of channel their anger and their energy in a way that diverts it away from the problem. And they better thank their lucky stars that we have these amazing distractions in today's day and age. Because nobody's going to get out there with pitchforks and torches because they're too comfortable in their homes as everything around them is burning down because we have the distractions. If we didn't have the distractions, oh my God. The system is already unstable. It'd be way more unstable and we would like, it would get dicey, man. It would get dicey. But um, there you have it. This is what they're focusing on. Not UBI, not hazard pay, not rent freeze, not mortgage freeze, nothing for the people, crumbs. 
but they want to bail out lobbyists. And they have the nerve to, the lobbyists are openly discussing, like, yeah, I think we're essential. <laughs> You're essential to the destruction of democracy and the destruction of the country. You're the corrupt parasites and leeches that are screwing over regular people. That's what you're essential for.